Hello everyone and welcome back to WoW Classic. We are on our Alliance Priest today at the Eastvale Logging Camp. A couple things that are different. I was able to get the items we needed to create the Barbaric Linen Vest and the Hand Stitched Linen Breeches. So plus two Intellect and Spirit, plus two Stamina and Spirit. So that's good. We're also rocking the Green Linen Shirt. Otherwise, we would just be bear testing it, which would be fine, but uh, no, we'll keep our awesome shirt on. Let's see, we're going to turn in the quest here, and then we have a couple of things that we need to take care of still in this part of Elwyn. Greetings. I've been commissioned by the Stormwind Army to supply their people with cloth and leather armor. If you have a marker for me, then I'd be happy to make you something. We don't need this, but thanks. Go with honor, friend. Alright, uh, and then also I stopped by and visited Guard Thomas, and he gave us Bounty on Murlocs, which might have been something that we missed earlier on. The Stormwind Army has placed a bounty on Murloc lurkers and foragers in Elwyn. Slaughter them and bring me their torn Murloc fins, and the Stormwind Army will reward you well. The Murlocs have built a village at Stonecarn Lake. We are well acquainted with the village, so we'll go fight eight Murlocs. Well, it'll probably be more than eight. And then we'll head down to the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch to the south. And we're going to find the Collector there among the Defias Brotherhood. I hope everyone of you is doing well and staying safe. And I just wanted to say how happy I am that you're here with me today. I'm really digging being able to make gear on our character that we can actually use. That's an upgrade and has some stats on it. Been spending a little bit of time each day farming humanoids that are in the green level range so we can get some kill experience for them, but mainly just to get some linen for crafting. And it's been really good to actually have the time to do that and to make progression on our tailoring, which this is where we're at right now, 77 of 150 have a little ways to go we can now start making wool bolts of wool but we're not getting wool yet so it's probably still a ways off we're a few levels above these murlocs so it should be easier for us to deal with them easier than it was the last time we were in this area But of course, the drop rate for this might actually be terrible. Let's go ahead and use Inner Fire. That way we'll have we'll rely less on Powered Shield. Unless, of course, we pull multiples, and then we will rely shamelessly on Powered Shield. It's really nice that we're getting Spirit Tap more often than not. That's really saving us and our mana pool. Even with the names on, these guys sometimes blend right into the brush. I really need to get to Darnassus and train Stabs, if that's where we do that. Because by the time we get Stabs, our weapon skill for it is going to be embarrassingly far behind. Just like Wands is going to have to be skilled up over the course of quite a few encounters. If you don't have skill with a weapon, you're going to miss more often than not. Until you build up that skill, then you'll hit more and for more damage. So we do need to start working on stabs soon, I think. We don't have an offhand right now, and we can't always rely on having a good offhand. Normally I wouldn't really stand in the middle of this area like this, because obviously we're going to keep catching respawns, but 
being a bit out level for them probably engenders a little bit of overconfidence in me. We'll pull out of their camp a little bit. Fight more on the outskirts when we can. He had a couple of lucky dodges in there, didn't he? I've really been enjoying my time on the priest a lot. You'll probably be aware of that because of how many priest videos have been posted recently, but I feel like it's worth saying anyway. Oh boy, we got two of them. Ooh, these are the foragers, and the foragers heal for a, a small amount. They have some kind of heal. Yeah, like he just did it. They don't have an animation for it. They become very still, and that's when you can kind of tell they're about to cast their heal. We can't interrupt anyway, so even if it had an animation to let us know, it, it's not like we'd be better off. But if you're on a character with an interrupt, if you zoom in, you can see that they just kind of stop moving and they stop attacking. That's the time that they're casting or doing whatever that heal ability is that they have. I'm not even sure if it's interruptible or not. Spirit Tap is also helping us regen mana while we're casting, so that's the amazing thing about it. Alright, we only need one more, so drop rate was not too bad. just go ahead and we'll drop this off the guard Thomas at the bridge make sure that it doesn't chain into anything else and then we'll head down to the Brackwell pumpkin patch and we will find the collector and take his ring I can't lose that Inventory is getting a little cluttered, but we should be okay. If we zoomed our camera out a little bit, we might even be able to avoid some of these guys. That spell isn't ready yet. I do need to find a nice fire and cook up all the meat that I have from these wolves. I have been mindful not to sell it, so... And after we do these couple of quests here, we have a green quest to head into Westfall, and we have a green quest to 
go to Loch Modan so we can start questing in the next subsequent zones in both the human and dwarven starting areas. Need help? You have the fins? Great. Marshal Dugan's anxious about the Murloc situation in Eastern Elwyn, and I'd like to tell him that it's becoming under control. It's not becoming proper English, though. Uh, this would have been great a while ago. Not so useful to us now. 8 to 16. No, ours is much better. Any two-handers? One hand, main hand. We'll just take the mace and sell it. Bless you. And that's level 14. We'll put our fifth and final point into spirit tap, so every single time that we get the killing blow on a target, we're going to get spirit tap, so that's awesome. After this, I think... Well, maybe we'll have to think about it a little bit more. I know I want to get down to improved mind blast, but there's some special talents kind of in our way of that that I don't really care for, but we're going to have to work around. Reduces your target's chance to resist your shadow spells. Like, yeah, that'd be fine. That would be a lot of negative to resist. The duration of Shadow Word Pain, I mean, right now, not a big deal because we down things pretty quickly, but overall I can see wanting this. The threat generation, probably not. Uh, we're not going to be DPSing very much as an actual Shadow Priest in group situations, I don't think. I'd much rather be healing. So I don't know that we're going to need that. Let's, uh, well, let's refresh our buffs and we're going to have to take on three enemies here to get the collector. Level 9, level 8. Let's see if we can kite the mage a little bit. Ooh, we got uh, stunned a bit there. I think this other priest pulled aggro on, on her, so that did help us quite a bit. Uh, we're now stunned, and unfortunately for her, she's on our aggro chain here. I'll help her with this bandit, just because, well, they helped us. There we go. And there's the collector's ring and another actual small pouch that we don't need. Alright, well. And let's take a look here. Manhunt is going to go back to Marshall Dugan, so I think we're in the clear to go ahead and hearth. Find the collector? Did you discover whom he's working for? Uh, did we discover anything? What did we get from him? And can we read it? Engraved with the words, For years of service, EVC. You found him. Well done. He won't be collecting from the Elwyn Mines again. And this ring you found is interesting. It's a membership ring for the old Stonemasons Guild in Stormwind. Why would a lowly thief have an artisan guild ring? And why are the Defias Thieves collecting money from our mines? Difficult questions. I hope one day we'll have answers. It seems unlikely, but maybe one day. Uh, we're gonna have to sell this, it's, so let's take the mail gloves of the, the vendor for more. And speaking of vendoring, let's go ahead and clear out our bags. Can I help you? Uh, not for, for me, the though. Alliance. Looking for something specific? sell these robes. We could probably sell the mackerel. Everything else I kind of want to hang on to. We're going to use the scroll 
pretty immediately. Safe travels. Um, and besides that, like I said, we could we're gonna take on this elite quest when it's green, uh, and that's right behind, right to the north east, or not in here, but it's to the northeast in Dunmoreau by the Amberstill Ranch, I think it was. So we'll take care of that when it's green. I think we're gonna go ahead and we'll go over to Westfall. I wonder if our priest trainer here is gonna have our level 14 stuff or if we have to get that from Stormwind. Let's go check our trainer and then we'll head to Westfall. Okay, cool. She does have our new our new spells. Cure disease removes a disease from a friendly target. Rank two of renew. Rank three of smite. And psychic scream. The caster lets out a psychic scream, causing two enemies within eight yards to flee for eight seconds. Uh, damage caused will interrupt it. So you'll notice that these are quite expensive. We actually don't have enough silver to get all of our spells. We are going to get the next rank of smite. And we're going to hold off. Now, Be part careful. of that is because for some of the recipes that we did with tailoring, I needed to purchase fine thread, which was like a silver a piece. So for some of the gear we made, we needed that. And it's expensive at this level. But let's go ahead and definitely get rank 3 of spite on our bar. And as soon as we can, we'll pick up the, the other spells. I could be vendoring some of our skins. We haven't needed many many skins for tailoring, but we do need some. So for me, when we move on to medium leather, then I'll know that I can I can sell the rest of our light leather, and so I'll probably hang on to it until then. You can see there's only a couple of recipes where we needed it, and when we did need it, it wasn't very much. So for the gear that we're currently wearing, uh, we needed it for the vest. Didn't need it for the britches though. And then again for the linen boots. So I'm kind of thinking that's going to be a theme that will need leather going forward. But it, does, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a lot. So there should be some left over to sell. I'm just not going to sell any till we're out of that tier. Alright, let's check out these introductory quests. I'm curious to see if they're going to be green or yellow. Good day to you. The Forgotten Heirloom. It was horrible. Venner woke me when she heard a ruckus in the fields. The fields were full of hooligans. We left in a rush and I forgot to pack my pocket watch. Verna's pa gave me that watch on our wedding day and I feel just sick knowing those thieves have it. I left the pocket watch in the wardrobe at the farmhouse. Look for the field of pumpkins to the west. You can't miss it. If you bring it back to me, I'd sure be grateful. See you later. Hey there. I never thought the day would come when I'd leave the farm, but the fields are overrun with thieves and it's far too dangerous for us here now. As soon as Farmer Furbro Furl Brow gets the wagon fixed, we'll be on our way. Maybe you could do me a favor. Let me scribble down my recipe for Westfall stew. Please take it to Selma Seldian over on the farm yonder. The Seldian's farm is just beyond the fork of the road. Okay, deliver the recipe. See you later. And she had one How more. Poor old Blanche, which is the horse behind her here. Such a tired beast after all the work we put her through. I fed her before we left the farm, but we weren't expecting a wagon, the wagon to break on us. If you could bring her a few handfuls of oats from the fields, I'd be grateful. I bet you could find some around all the farms in Westfall if you can steer clear of those horrific machines that have taken over. There are several farms southwest of here. A four slot bag, we definitely don't need that. Have a good one. And a horse blanket. Okay, perfect. Let's take a look at these. Okay, so the the little fetch quest is green, but the rest of them are yellow. So we'll do the introductory quest here, the first few. And then by the time it sends us down uh, to the main hub, we'll we'll jump over to Lock Modan and do the introductory quest over there. 
Now I'm wondering if this is... No, this is the Jensen stead. This is not where we're gonna find the heirloom. But we might find oats. Although the oats might be kind of a rare thing to find, I'm not exactly certain. So the oats might be something we're working on for a while. in my one keybind and not smite. Alright, these guys are not going to drop it. It's going to be something that we find on the ground. I'm not seeing any here, so let's just keep heading to the west. Defias footpads. Don't need them, but she's awful close, isn't she? That's still recharging. I'll have to remember to come to this area. She dropped three linen in one go, so that's actually very good. Alright, this is the Furl Brows Pumpkin Patch. Let's find the house and the pocket watch. Let's do a little scan for anything we could pick up on the ground here. I'm, I'm not seeing anything, but I remember these being not very common, firstly, the oats, and kind of hard to see, secondly. Yeah, they say you can find them in any of these fields, but I, I think they're more in the farms to the south of here, actually. Uh, let's see, I'm assuming it would be in the actual house and not in the barn, but I could be wrong. Let's find out. Anybody inside this thing? I don't see anyone. Do we want to run right back? Let's head down to what I'm assuming is going to be the Saldean farm. And we'll turn in our little breadcrumb there. She's going to give us further quests to do, probably. I think it's a quest to fight the local wildlife and get their meat to actually make said stew. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't think we're going to find the oats in the pumpkin field here. Oh, hey, as soon as I say that, looky there. Alright, so this is what it looks like. You can see that from a distance it just kind of blends right into everything else. Oh, hello. This guy's level 14, so I'm kind of glad that we're a little over level right now. Otherwise he might give us uh, some problems. Even with our additional armor, he's, he's hitting us for quite a bit. Alright, so we can find oats here. They're, I don't know if they're all going to be along the fences. But we can definitely scan the fences. Very hard to see. Okay, this is the Saldean farm. Oh look, there's a quest giver. Still kind of checking with our mouse to see if we can hover over any bags of oats along the fence line. 
Not... Oh, no, that's a body. It's a body of a coyote that somebody did not even have the decency to loot, so we cannot skin it. Alright, Farmer Saldian. What can I do for you? The killing fields. Look at what has happened to this place. These lands were once occupied by good farm folk, but the damn thieves have driven them all off. Not me, though. But it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the fields. If you're up for the work, I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Come back when you're done for your pay. If you finish up with the ones in my field, clear them from the neighboring fields as well. Be careful. Yep, 20 of these guys, and that's not the little ones. I think it's only the ones that are level 14 and 15, the actual harvest watchers. So we'll go ahead and track that. I, I don't think we're going to complete that one before we head over to Lock Modan, but um, we will probably work on it what can I do for you? a little bit. And now we have Gore Tusk Liver Pie. The onions are peeled, the garlic is minced, the rosemary is crushed. Okay, she wants us to get Gore Tusk Livers. Let's Farewell. simplify Hello. that one. And same thing here, she wants us to get all of these meats. So this is just going to be us fighting the random animals and some murlocs. The okra is dropped by the harvest watchers. Have a good one. So w while we're in the zone, we'll track those. Again, they're yellow, so we might not complete them uh, right now. They might be something that we work on over time. It really depends on how many of each type of creature we run into. Uh, and for now, if I we're going to work on something specifically, we... Well, let's go ahead and turn in the pocket watch. And then we'll decide what we're going to do next. If we see any harvest watchers along the way, maybe we'll take a few of these out. Now, see, I don't think these ones count. These are rusty harvest golems. And I don't think that they're what we need. And I don't think killing them is going to help complete the objective. But we can get Gortusk liver from any Gortusk. And we also need snouts. What we don't need is coyotes. Which is odd. I remember there being some quests where we do need coyotes. It must be something later on. We can test it here, but yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys don't count. Yeah, definitely, they definitely don't count towards the quest. I actually think if we can complete all of these here in the northern part of Westfall and we can do them all at once. Maybe we knock out all four of these quests and then once we do that we Hello. head over to Lock Modan and we do similarly there with the first three or four quests. My watch, thank you so much kind sir. We are but poor farmers and we have lost our land but please accept this bread and milk as a reward. Have a good one. Alright, so that's what the plan will be. We will take a break here and when we come back we'll work on Old Blanchy, the Killing Fields, Gortusk Liver Pie, and the Westfall Stew. We can get all this stuff right up here. The Murlocs are along the coast. And if we can do that, if we don't have to go down to Sentinel Hill right now, we'll do these four first. And then we'll zone jump over to Lock Modan. I think that's really been helping out a lot. So let me know what you guys think. As always, I really appreciate you all being here. And I appreciate the support that comes along with that. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you soon.